The first talk will be given by Kazuhiko Sakaguchi on validating mathematical structures. The floor is yours. Oh, okay, Sh shall we start? Yes, please start. Okay, uh, thanks for introducing me. Uh, do you see my screen? Everything's fine. Okay, so today I would like to talk about hierarchies of mathematical structures and uh, also packed classes. So hierarchies of mathematical, mathematical structures are a key ingredient of modern formalization of mathematics. And packed classes methodology is a generic design pattern to define and combine mathematical structures using Deep, uh, in dependent type theory using dependent records, which supports multiple inheritance, maximal sharing of notations and theories, and also automated structure inference using canonical structures or unification hints. And this methodology has been successfully used in mathematical components and the form formal proof of the odd order theorem. And this is the hierarchy of mathematical structures in the MathComp library. And the, these boxes represent uh, mathematical structures. Uh, that's quite many, uh, actually more than, 60, more than 60 structures are here. And also arrows between structures represent uh, inheritance relation. And, um, this in inheritance uh, makes uh, this hi hierarchy quite dense. So the problem with packed classes uh, is that it, uh, packed classes are hard to master for library designers and requires a substantial amount of work to maintain. More precisely, uh, uh, structure inference requires quadratically many implicit quotients and unification hints for the number of structures. Also, to insert a new structure in the middle of a hierarchy, uh, the changes required are not local. All the structures that inherit from the new structure have to be changed. So our solution is, uh, so we, identify uh, two hierarchy invariants in packed classes and propose checking, checking algorithms uh, and tools uh, for them to address the previous issues. So the first invariant concerning implicit questions uh, ensures modularity of reasoning and is not specific to packed classes. Uh, so it's useful for other representations. Uh, and the second invariant concerning unification hints ensures predictability of inference and is specific to packed classes. And also our checking tools are implemented only for COC, but their methodology and algorithms uh, should be applicable to other provers. So here is the running example of this talk. Uh, it's a minimal hierarchy with multiple inheritance, consists of uh, four structures, uh, monoids, groups, semi-rings, and rings. So here, monoids and groups are additive. So monoids have two operators, addition and zero. Also, groups have one operator. It's additive inverse, and semi-rings have two operators, multiplication and one. And here, the ring structure in inherits from both semi-rings and groups. And uh, in this talk, uh, we say uh, structures with less axioms are smaller structures, and structure, uh, structures with more axioms are larger structures. So the monoid structure is the smallest one here, and the ring structure is the largest one. So here I show how to define the monoid structure uh, using packed classes. We use uh, three kinds of records, that is uh, mixing uh, class and structure, or 
we sometimes say type. So the mixing record gathers operators and axioms newly introduced by stru structure. So here, the monoid of mi uh, mixing of monoid uh, gathers zero uh, and addition and their properties. The class record assembles the uh, all the mixings of superclasses uh, of the structure, including itself. So this uh, monoid class is a singleton record, consists of this mixing record. And the structure record bundles a carrier of type type and its class instance. And we, uh, since we use this uh, structure record uh, as uh, an actual in, uh, interface of this monoid structure. Uh, so we lift this uh, zero and add from the projections of this mixing record to definition that takes uh, instance of this monoid type. And this A of type monoid type can be seen as a type equipped with monoid operators and axioms. So we declare this monoid sort as a quotient from monoid type to sort class. So in, in this way, we can omit this projection, uh, this projection here. So here we define the semi-ring structure. Uh, it's mixing has uh, one and multiplication and it's uh, axioms, including distributivity of multiplication over addition. So here we need to mention this addition. It's a monoid operator. So here we take A of monoid type rather than type. And this class record, uh, assembles uh, mixings. So this one uh, and monoid mix, mixing by uh, including monoid, monoid class record. And here, this type record bundles a carrier with its class instance. And similarly, we uh, declare this sort projection as a quotient and we lift these two operators uh, like this. So uh, we have four structures and also five operators in this running example. And for each structure, we declare uh, a quotient from that structure to type. Also here, uh, the semi-ring structure have operator one, and it should also be applicable to this ring type instance T because ring type uh, inherits from semi-ring type. But here we see type mismatch between ring type and semi-ring type. So we should also declare uh, a quotient from ring type to semi-ring type like this, so, so that we can fill this type mismatch by inserting this implicit question. So we should also declare other uh, implicit questions by following this inheritance relation between structures. So in general, if a structure B inherits from a structure A, an implicit question from B to A should be declared. So also uh, multiple inheritance makes question path uh, ambiguous uh, because uh, in previous diagram, we, we saw uh, three paths uh, from ring type to monoid type, uh, this one, and this one, and this one. So uh, in packed classes, uh, these ambiguous paths should be convertible with e each other. Uh, otherwise, the hierarchy is broken. For example, uh, it may prevent us to prove uh, this quite, quite trivial equation by reporting type mismatch between this R and R. So, 
this problem of uh, definition equality uh, of inheritance paths is also known as coherence. And this, this is a uh, general interest in dependent type theories with inheritance. So an um, inheritance graph, graph is said to be coherent if and only if for any circular inheritance path, uh, P is definitionally equal to identity function on this class C and also for any two inheritance paths, uh, P and Q uh, that share uh, the same source and target classes C and D, uh, P and Q should be uh, definitionally equal. In COC 8.11, uh, uh, we, we relaxed the condition of ambiguous paths to re report only paths that break the, this coherence condition. But uh, the problem is that, uh, problem of this coherence checking is that in COC, coercion classes and implicit coercions are allowed to have parameters and coherence checking involves unification of uh, these type parameters that in the higher order case is indeed undecidable. But for coercions that respect the uniform inheritance condition, coherence checking is decidable. So here is the definition of uniform inheritance and this F is a uh, question from C to D and C, have, uh, C has N parameters. And the point is that this uniform inheritance condition forces F to have uh, has uh, N parameters uh, before this Y uh, that have exactly the same ordering as uh, arguments of this C here. So next, uh, I would like to talk about automated structure inference. Uh, and the first example of structure inference is zero plus one. So here, uh, addition and zero are monoid operators and one is a semi-ring operator. So, these left and right sides of this top application can be typed uh, as shown, where uh, these question marks represent uh, unification variable. And to apply this function uh, to this term, we have to solve unification problem between monoid sort and semi ring sort. Uh, here, the semi-ring structure inherits from the monoid structure. So there is a canonical way to construct a monoid instance uh, from a semi-ring instance. Um, that's a question. So the canonical solution of this unification problem is uh, instantiating this unification variable M with uh, semi-ring monoid type of this SR. And we, we do this by declaring uh, canonical instances. So the second example of structure inference is minus one. So here opposite operator is a group operator and one is a semi-ring operator uh, so similarly, we have to solve unification problem between group and semi ring. So here, uh, the group structure and the semi ring structure doesn't uh, do not inherit from each other. So the problem is even more complicated. But the smallest structure that have uh, both group and semi ring operators is the ring structure here. So the canonical solution of this unification problem is introducing a fresh unification variable of type ring type 
and instantiating these unification variables, G and SR with uh, the group and semi-ring instances uh, derived from this R. So in general, to solve a unification problem between structures A and B, we need to find a joint structure C of A and B, uh, that is a minimal common subclass uh, of A and B. So for, exa for example, C is A if A inherits from B, and also C is uh, uh, undefined if A and B have no common subclasses. Also, for any two structures, uh, their join must be unique in packed classes. This is the uh, well-formedness uh, invariant uh, that we propose. So since we can enumerate the minimal common subclasses of any two structures, uh, there, uh, this well-formedness invariant can be automatically checked. And it is also possible to generate an exhaustive set of assertions uh, while well-formedness well -formed checking, which state that C is the join of A and B. So here is uh, a diagram of minimal hierarchy with uh, non-unique join. The structures A and B have two minimal common subclasses, C and D, which inherits from both A and B and have extra axioms independent from each other. So C and D do not inherit from each other. So if C is inferred as the join of structures A and B, it can never be instantiated with D. So this is a problem. And so we must disambiguate this join uh, by declaring an intermediate structure that just inherits from both A and B without extra axioms so that uh, structures C and D inherits from this intermediate structure. So also, uh, we proved a meta theorem about well-formedness. Uh, so we modeled uh, hierarchies as finite sets of stru structures partially ordered by the inheritance relation. And we also defined the join as a binary function on a hierarchy extended with the largest structure top and proved the following theorem in Koch. So this theorem states that uh, the join operator on an extended well-formed hierarchy is as associative, commutative, and idempotent. That is, an extended well-formed hierarchy is uh, joint similarities. And this theorem implies that uh, permuting, duplicating, and contracting unification problems do not change the result of inference. Uh, so it states that predictability of structure inference at a very abstract level. Uh, we also said that we can generate assertions for structure inference while reformedness checking. Uh, so, and also in Coq, those assertions uh, can be checked by executing them as tactics. So here, this check join is implemented as a tactic that takes uh, three arguments, A, B, C, and it states that uh, it asserts that the join of A and B is C. So for example, these, hi these highlighted uh, line asserts that the join of monoids and semi-rings are semi-rings, and uh, these highlighted lines assert that the join of groups and semi-rings are rings. And by using this uh, checking tool, uh, we, pr uh, we found and fixed uh, many inheritance bugs in MathComp 1.7. For example, in count -alge and fin -alge, uh, there were seven non-unique joins and six 
missing joints because thin algae structures did, did not inherit from current algae structures. And also there are two missing joints in the SSRNUM library. Also, uh, the fin type instance of extremal group, uh, this is a concrete type, uh, and it wrongly overwrote the join of fin type and count type. Also, our tools are helpful to extend an existing hierarchy without paying too much attention to uh, inheritance bugs. Uh, for example, we integrated the order library uh, from the FinMap library, uh, we, which introduces 16 new structures in MathConf. And we will present this work in the Cook workshop. And next one is the MathConf analysis library. Uh, this uh, library present, uh, presents a hierarchy of structures for functional analysis. Analysis. Uh, we we presented this work in uh, Ijika day one. Um, so uh, also now the well-formedness checker runs as a part of the CI of MathComp to reduce the reviewing burden of changes. So it allows allows us to focus better on the mathematical contents of changes. Uh, so related works, uh, uh, it's ac actually uh, advertisement rather than related work because these two items are our own work. But anyway, the first item is our another Ijika paper that discusses the convertibility issues uh, of structure inference uh, built by several inheritance construction uh, and it, it discusses them in detail. Uh, it presented in Ijika day one. And another paper by Koen Sakaguchi Tassi provides the hierarchy builder tool that synthesizes definitions of mathematical structures, uh, their inheritance and instances based on packed classes uh, from high level commands. Uh, it, it has been presented uh, yesterday in FSCD. Uh, and I, I think uh, this uh, validate, validating mathematical structures uh, work sh uh, should eventually be subsumed by this tool. So let me conclude. Uh, we, we present, we present uh, checking algorithms and tools for hierarchy invariants that ensure modularity of reasoning and predictability of inference with packed classes. And an extended well-formed hierarchy forms a joint semiotics. This meta theorem states that predictability of structure inference at a very abstract level. And our checking tools are helpful to find and fix inheritance bugs and also provide uh, also improve uh, the process of uh, more development and extension, extension of hierarchies. So that's it. Uh, thanks. Uh, let me take questions. Thanks a lot for the talk. We've got time for a couple of questions. If you want to ask a question, either raise your hand or um, type the question in the uh, Q&A uh, panel or the chat panel. So while you're thinking about a question, I have one, uh, Kazuhiko. So mm -hmm. um, this was not very focused on the format of packed classes, but even so I'm not a cork expert, I remember that there are different ways to model hierarchical structures with various notions of bundling everything up abstractly. Um, to what extent do these well-formedness conditions also apply to other parts? So to, other, to the other formalisms? Uh, to other methodologies? 
yeah, like um, unbundling everything and having explicit parameters for, for the operations and, and the like. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, uh, I think the, this uh, inference of join is very specific to packed classes. Uh, in other methodology based on type classes, uh, as you said, unbundled one, also same bundled one, uh, as in MathLib library of Lean, uh, they use type classes. So its inference me mechanism is different. Uh, they use proof such. So there, there is no inference of join there. And since we talk about this uh, join uh, in the well-formedness condition, it, I think it's very specific to packed classes or other uh, fully bundled well, methodologies. Just, just one. One let, let let me ask this this slight proof of rights. I mean, if if we do proof search, I mean the the join or the semi-loaded structure gives you um, that you have predictable behavior, right? So if you do proof search, you also might want to have a single unique outcome. And if you have then a most general solution to your proof search, that would be Right. Hmm. Sorry, I I don't think so because in proof search, uh, as in type class resolution, uh, take um, takes uh, for example takes an instance of uh, ring from hypothesis and you use it to instantiate uh, a fall that requires, uh, for example, a monoid instance. Uh, so, so I, I don't see join here. Okay. Any other questions? Well, please shout if questions don't seem to work, but then I'll, I'll ask yet another one. Um, so you mentioned, okay, you, yeah, I mean, you, you detect when there is a join missing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there's a more or less straightforward algorithm to figure out what the join should, uh, well, how to construct a join by just taking the union of uh, the parents. Um, does it also mean that if you have canonical constructions like products over structures, that you also get a systematic way to construct those instances? Uh, in, okay. Uh, so your question is uh, automatically generate these unification hints. Uh, it, I, I think it's a uh, part of the hierarchy builder too. So it, it's different work, but <laughs> uh, this too, I, I think this too addresses your question. All right. It, it's uh, automate almost everything uh, except minimal input. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well then, um, let's thank Kazuhiko again. Thanks for thank the you. Talk.